Welcome back, I'm Jill with thecarefreekitchen.com and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my recipe for old fashioned meatloaf. And this meatloaf recipe is the only one you're ever gonna need. It's moist and juicy and tender and it's loaded with flavor. Okay, so to get started on this recipe, here are the ingredients that you're going to need. Okay, I'm gonna start off with two pounds of hamburger and this is 85 15, so 15% 15 fat. And if you want to do a leaner cut of meat on this, then maybe just add another egg or a little bit more cream. Okay, and then I have a couple eggs I'm gonna use. I'm gonna saute up a little bit of onion, and this is just white onion. You can use yellow onion here too. And then I have one uh, small red bell pepper, some panko breadcrumbs, and these can be seasoned Italian flavor or just plain. And then I have a half a cup of heavy cream. And then for my spices, I have garlic powder, salt, and then just some coarse black pepper. Okay, and then also before we get started, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Okay, and then for my dish, I'm just going to spray, this is just an avocado oil spray. And this is a nine by four and a half or five inch, just standard bread loaf pan. And then into a saucepan, I'm going to add just a couple tablespoons of oil and cook this on about medium high heat with about a half of an onion or even one small onion is great. Okay, and while the onions are sauteing, I like to just put on a glove sometimes when I'm working with raw meat, especially if I'm going to be mixing it with my hands. So this is again two pounds of hamburger. And then to that, I'm going to add cream. And this is about a half a cup of heavy cream. And I'm gonna do two large eggs. Okay. And then to that, I'm gonna add our seasonings. And this is one half teaspoon pepper, one half teaspoon salt, and then one teaspoon of garlic powder. And then also we have one cup of pinko crumbs. And then I just like to mix this with my hand. It's a little bit gross, but that way you can be sure it's all mixed in. Okay, so we wanna cook these onions until they are golden brown here. So this is just about right. And then I'm just going to add about a teaspoon of minced garlic. And you can do fresh or the jarred minced garlic is great. And then also to that, we're going to use a small bell pepper or maybe about a half a cup of diced bell pepper. And we want to just cook this until it is tender. So we cook the garlic here. The garlic is little and it has a lot of sugars in it. So that means it's gonna brown really easily. So that's why we golden the onions and then add the garlic until it's translucent and the peppers come in later too. Those onions just take a little bit longer to cook. Okay, so once your hamburger mixture is all mixed in, you can go ahead and just add in your peppers here. Peppers, onions, and garlic. And your onions will add just that like little bit of sweetness to your mixture. And then the garlic and the peppers are like a little bit tangy. Okay, and then we'll just mix the rest of this up. My hamburger is pretty cold, but if you leave it out a little bit before you mix it, it is a little bit easier to mix. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is take your mixture and put it in your loaf pan. And two pounds of hamburger will fit nicely into a loaf pan. It'll be pretty full, but it'll be just about right. Okay, and then I like to just like push it down into the pan and form it kind of in like a loaf because we're gonna put a sauce on this and it's gonna go right on top. All right, so our glaze that goes on top of our meatloaf is actually just a little bit too good to be true because there's only two ingredients in it. And the first one is tomato sauce and I'm just gonna estimate about a fourth of a cup and then you wanna do equal parts barbecue sauce too. And I'm just using some barbecue sauce that we had in our fridge. And then you can just stir the two together here. So this will make it sweet and just like a little bit tangy too. All right, and then we'll just 
pour the glaze on top of our meatloaf. There we go, and use the back of the spoon to spread it on top. Okay, so you can make this ahead, and this is a great stage uh, to pre-make this. You can just cover it with saran wrap and then add the glaze onto it right before you bake it. Um, we're gonna put this in a 350 degree preheated oven for about 55 minutes. And you want the internal temperature of the meatloaf to be about 160 degrees. So if you have an internal temperature, this is a great place to use it. Okay, here is my old fashioned meatloaf. It's tender and juicy and has that amazing glaze on top. We love to serve it with some creamy mashed potatoes or just a side salad. And bonus, it makes the best leftover sandwiches. I hope you've enjoyed this episode at the Carefree Kitchen. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me here, and I will show you all kinds of fun and easy recipes that your family will love.